Okay, when we're discussing the halachot of Netirat Yadayim, the halacha says, Ha'okhel pachot mekezayit ma'akana din eno tzarit l'to yadav. One who eats less than one ounce of bread is not obligated to wash Netirat Yadayim, and he can eat the bread by just saying hamotzi. He eat a small amount of bread, and uh, it's okay. However, if one is planning to eat a kezayit of bread, but less than two kezetim, less than a kabetza. So he's eating just an ounce of bread. Let's say he's having a pita. So uh, we'll give an example. It's a pita about half a pita is about approximately a kabetza, which is about approximately two ounces. Half quarter would be uh, one ounce. The person's eating less than a quarter of, uh, of a pita bread. Again. No obligation to make ham uh, netirat yadayim. You could eat, you could just say hamotzi, having a little tiny piece. No, you just say hamotzi and chalas. Now you're good. You don't have to say berkat hamazon. You don't have to say netirat yadayim. But if a person is eating more than a quarter, so he has to make netirat yadayim. But if he's eating a half, then he has to make netirat yadayim and say beracha. You have to have in order to make a beracha, person has to have two kizetim, two ounces of bread. In order for a person to be able to be uh, able to say biracha. So therefore, being that this is the case, those people that come Friday night, Shabbat day, they go, they wash the tilat yadaim, and uh, they taste a little piece of bread, and then they have everything else. They have the ma'udah, the kibbeh, whatever they want, no problem. They're all good. But they only had a little piece of bread. This is almost biracha al-battala. You made a biracha al tilat yadaim, you only had a little tiny piece of bread. It wasn't even a kezai, it was less than a kezai. Let alone, it's not a kabetza. So maybe you're not obligated to make brikat and mazon, which again, we'll go into the details when we get there, but you, didn't, you can't make a benachah and it's yet yadayim. So therefore, the right thing to do is immediately, as soon as you make hamotzi, make sure you put aside a small, whatever amount of piece of bread that you have to eat, kabetza, so put aside on your, next to your plate, a kabetza, eat that first, and then eat everything else you want. So this way, you don't pull up on your uh, stomach with everything else, and then you don't end up eating. Now, what happens if a person did? What happened? That a person started his se'uda, and he planned to have kabeza, and he had everything in mind the right way, but at the end, he couldn't eat. Whatever, whatever the reasons are, he couldn't eat. A person should, doesn't have to force himself to eat, you know, against his will, just to be able to take the kabeza. If you can't eat, you can't eat. But of course, a person should always, hacham inab bin First, you should always think, how much am I planning to eat? And make sure you eat your bread first in order that you don't get into problems afterwards that you didn't eat enough for the Netiyat Yadayim and Bukat Amazon.